Good morning. How does God feel while he attempts to recover us? Our readings in Jeremiah today, chapter 31, verses 18 to 20. Here we go. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself. You have chastised me, and I was chastised like an untrained bull. Restore me, and I will return, for you are the Lord my God. Surely after my turning I repented, and after I was instructed, I struck myself on the thigh. I was ashamed, yes, even humiliated, because I bore the reproach of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For though I spoke against him, I earnestly remember him still. Therefore my heart yearns for him. I will surely have mercy on him, says the Lord. So God's heart yearns for us while he seeks us out. We run, we weave, we bob, we're kind of dodging him here and there, but he's still coming along after us, and hopefully we turn and repentance comes. Jeremiah says surely that he's heard Ephraim bemoaning himself, and many times in the Bible, Ephraim, which was one of the largest tribes, is taken sort of to represent the whole of Israel, the whole of the kingdom. And Jeremiah, you don't think he was indifferent to all the things that were happening. No, he was quite interested. So he was sometimes given prophetic sight. Sometimes he just overheard the people talking about this and talking about that. He was curious what their opinion was. He was praying and pleading for them to return to God. So he listens to see what the people are thinking. And, and he's heard some of them reproaching themselves. Some of them are saying, yeah, look at where we, what, look at where everything took us. Look where we landed after our terrible way that we, we were unfaithful to God. He's hearing some people say stuff like that. And it's actually uh, a good sign to him. The people begin to recognize how stubborn and how unfaithful they've been. And that's actually a good sign when they see that. And in verse 20, God's voice comes in. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? He's, this is God speaking through his prophets, sort of prophets overhearing and telling us how God is feeling about it. And he says, look, I earnestly remember him still, therefore my heart yearns for him. I will surely have mercy on him, says the Lord. God has good thoughts. What did we find uh, not too long ago? Thoughts of peace to give us a future and a hope. And that's the way he feels about his people, all, all people off in captivity. He wants them to come back. And he has positive thoughts for Ephraim. And he is very glad to see Ephraim starting to come to himself, some of the people. You know, it seems hard to us in the chase. It seems hard when heaven's chastening is coming down upon us and we're running from him and we can't see anything but that we're having trouble. We feel assailed and misunderstood. But God is working for our hearts and with a deafness, with a carefulness that only God has. He's working to bring us to a space of repentance, all with our free will still intact. With an excellence and a finesse, he's laboring to bring us back to himself. And if we do at last realize we've been in rebellion to him and we return to him, oh, heaven rejoices. God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're rejoicing. How quickly he forgives us, how quickly his mercy is manifested toward us. He makes things new every morning. Oh, God is waiting for us to return to him. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, bless your people. Bring us back. Help us to come back home. And as you brought those that were willing to come back in the time of Jeremiah, please take us in this time that we live and help us to come back to you. Make our hearts open to you. We ask for you to work for us, Lord, in this way. Thank you for being not a hard God, but a God of love. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so friends, you go out and have a wonderful day. God is working to recover us, and there are wonderful days ahead. But we do need to listen, pay attention, and find out what his instructions are. What does he want for us to do next? Have a wonderful day.